What healer reigns supreme? That's the question we will try and answer in today's epic tier list update. We sent out a poll in Discord asking the community to rank every spec in WoW. While that was happening, we had rank 1 players fill out their own forms to compare the results. Today, we will be showing you all the data we collected, while also giving our own rankings for every healer in PvP. This will be based on solo shuffle and 3v3 primarily, but don't worry because a 2v2 update is on the way. Until then, we hope you enjoy this epic tier list where we rank every healer in the Season 1 meta. First up, we have the S tier, which represents the most broken healer in all of WoW PvP. This was a tough decision, but after careful consideration, we decided that this title belongs to... absolutely nobody. <clears throat> well, this is awkward. But wait, before you freak out, let's make one thing clear. We're not saying there aren't any good healers. It's just that healers in general are struggling into the meta. Think about solo shuffle for a second. Not only does dampening stack super fast, but healers can't even drink in the middle of the game. On top of that, there are currently some pretty busted specs floating around the meta, like, hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, Assassination Rogue. Of course, this spec could just be an outlier, but ask any healer and they will tell you how challenging it is to keep up with damage. And even though Asa Rogue took a hit to their 4-piece and to Deathmark healing reduction stacking in early February, their pressure is still brutal in both 3v3 and solo shuffle. So yeah, it's safe to say healing can be pretty hard these days, and for the meantime, every healer has been pushed down a tier. So when you see the results of our polls, keep in mind that everything has been squished down to reflect the fact that healers are just weak overall. With that in mind, let's look at the A tier, which currently represents the best overall healers. Disc Priest is probably one of the first specs you think of, and did really well in our community poll, managing to squeeze out an S tier majority. And on the rank 1 level, votes were fairly split, but since we are scaling everyone down, we're going to place Discipline on the A tier. Disc saw a massive list of changes in the 0.5 patch, with one of the most important being a second charge of pain suppression. This is currently giving the spec huge value in solo shuffle, where damage reduction cooldowns are generally stronger than healing CDs due to increased levels of dampening. Disc is also one of the most offensive healers, and is able to keep up on DPS with actual damage dealers even in rank 1 level games. So all things considered, we think Discipline should be on your radar as one of the best healers in the midseason meta. But if there is one healer that can challenge it, it would be Preservation of Ochre, who we are also placing on the A tier for now. The content patch included a few changes, including a redesigned Dream Projection, which reduced its healing slightly and made it dispellable. But in some ways, this was offset by a buff to Emerald Communion, which can no longer be interrupted with some forms of micro CC. Evoker was also subject to a few changes in early February, including a 5% total healing reduction, but again, this was offset to some degree with buffs to both Living Flame and Verdant Embrace. Taken together, we think Evokers are in a relatively similar position since our last update, where they remain one of the best healers. Our community seems to agree with the overwhelming majority of votes being cast for the S tier, which again, we are scaling down to A. And on the rank 1 level, we had another case of split results, which again doesn't change the fact that Evoker is one of the best healers currently. You might be surprised to see Resto Druid here. After all, we kept saying video after video that Druid is the best when it comes to actually healing. But with healing being brutal right now, the main strength of Resto Druid has lost a ton of value, especially after some key healing nerfs in January, including some punishing new modifiers to both Frenzied Regeneration and Life Bloom. When you combine this with the fact that Assassination Rogues are one of the most pervasive DPS, it's easier to understand that Druids might be having a tough time. Our community was fairly split when it came time to vote, with an even division between S and A, which again gets scaled down to A and B. Rank 1 respondents were way more optimistic with their votes, and the most likely explanation is simply due to the fact that RMD is exceptionally good at higher ratings, which gives Druid some perceived value. We will be placing Druid on the A tier for now with Discipline and Evoker, but with the key distinction that it might be the worst overall healer out of the three, at least in the current meta. But we want to know what you think. What are your picks for the best healers in the current meta? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're doing that, keep an eye on our 3v3 tier list, which shows you some of the best comps in the meta and is available for free right now on our articles site. And if you want to push yourself even further, you can also use the discount links in our articles to sign up for skillcap.com, giving you full access to all of our website content. This includes all of our class courses, which are designed alongside rank 1 players and teach you all of the healing fundamentals needed to rank up in this tough meta. These players even upload weekly arena commentaries which guide you step by step through your hardest matchups and show you how to deal with the most difficult solo shuffle lobbies. If you still have doubts, all this comes back to the guarantee that you will gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website or your money back. So what are you waiting for? Visit skillcap.com and start your next PvP journey today. 
Unfortunately, we're gonna have to go down to the B tier for now, which again is just a scaled down version of the A tier. Here we have Restoration Shaman, who got a majority of scaled down A tier votes within our community. Results were almost identical at the rank one level, which means it's fair to say that most people think Shaman is B tier. Some of the most recent changes to Resto Shaman included buffs to some of their casted heals, which on paper might seem like a big deal until you realize that Resto Shamans rely more on their instant cast heals instead. There's no doubt that all these healing increases help their overall standing, but not by much. Resto Shaman continues to be better in normal 3v3 compared to solo shuffle for the simple fact that it is more reliant on a few key specs in order to truly flourish. Looking ahead, it seems like Resto Shaman is in for a massive redesign, so we will have to see if it continues to fill the niche role as the aggressive healer. Joining Resto Shaman will be Mistweaver Monk, who have been on a wild ride of class tuning since the game was in beta. Some early season changes included a complete removal of a major healing cooldown, something which many monks feared would set them too far behind. But not to worry, because help would eventually be on the way. In January, we saw a pretty major buff to Enveloping Mist, and more recently, Mistweaver got a massive list of changes, including buffs to their entire healing toolkit. While a lot of this tuning might seem incredible, Mistweaver was still plagued by the bigger issue that it lacks the ability to effectively heal on the move, which of course is a problem that can be avoided with the growing popularity of fist weaving. This has proven to be a viable option for monk healers in the Season 1 meta, and is likely stronger overall compared to the standard Mistweaver build. With that said, we still don't think fist weaving is enough to put monks up an entire tier. Currently, Disc Priests, Resto Druids, and Evokers seem like the more consistent options for all rated arena brackets. Now though, we have to go down to our low tier healers on the scaled down C tier. Holy Paladin is first on our list, and ironically, they actually did very well in our community poll, with many people actually believing they are mid to high tier. On the rank 1 side though, there is clearly more pessimism, with the majority of respondents placing them in the scaled down low tiers. Holy Paladin was subject to a massive list of changes in January, including a redesign to Reckoning, making it a bit less consistent with the flashy Melee Wings build that was gaining in popularity leading up to the patch. Because of this, Holy Paladin continues to be in an awkward state as a healer. Even though it has some of the best mechanics on paper for countering assassination rogues and elemental shamans, Pally seemed to lack the sustained healing necessary to truly excel into the broader meta. Speaking of struggling, Holy Priest struggled the hardest when it came to votes in our community, with the overwhelming majority of players agreeing that it is low tier. The same was true on the rank 1 side, where everyone seems to have the opinion that Holy Priest is probably the worst healer in the meta. We completely agree. Right now, Holy Priest is a bit of a meme if we're being honest. Its most efficient way of healing involves literally turning itself into an angel for a few seconds and spam casting spells like their lives depend on it. Hopefully Blizzard is saving future tuning for later, since we don't expect a whopping 3% buff is enough to perform a miracle for Holy Priest on our tier list. Some of you out there might be pointing at the recent tournament success of Zen, where his Holy Priest Thug Cleave is doing exceptionally well. Keep in mind that these results are more or less an outlier in a tournament meta dominated by other healers. So while Zen might be proving that Holy Priest can work, there are thousands of other healers on the ladder who prove that their specs work much better. And with that, we have our complete picture of the healer meta. Remember that because this is an overall tier list, everyone has been scaled down due to how brutal healing feels overall. If you want a solo shuffle specific tier list, check out our most recent update. In any case, Disc Priests and Preservation of Ochres continue to be the best overall healers, with Druid being a bit stronger in 3v3 compared to solo shuffle, since it has access to some amazing comps in Constructed Arena. If you're wanting to know what comps to play in 3v3, check out our brand new tier list on our article site. There, you can also find discount links for skillcap.com, giving you full access to all of our website content, which, as a reminder, is backed by a rating gain guarantee, where we promise that you will gain over 400 points just by using our guides. Visit the links below to learn more.